Holy crap, I guess everyone's read that news about the UK, right? The bombing during the concert? Man, what's wrong with people? Some people just don't have anything better to do with their time but to create negativity and to harm others just because they're at a low point in their life or whatever. Jeez. Although the good thing about stuff like this usually is just seeing uh, people come together. I was thinking too, I, just like everybody else, when events like this happen, you tend to think, okay, um, is there anyone I know in that area that may be affected? Like, how are they doing? So same thing like with this, like I know since people commented from uh, the UK, it makes me wonder like, is everything all right? Now you guys were telling me uh, yesterday that apparently the Canada Transport Canada updated their laws, like to say like for the animals, they changed it to something like uh, pets instead, like where you have to keep your drone away and they took the word etc out. I know they took the word etc out, but I was checking the site today and I didn't see that they changed the description of the animals at all. Uh, to my knowledge, everything has been very uh, informal. Like basically it, was, it sounded like it's just from employees. So to my knowledge, nothing has changed in terms of the uh, distance away from the animals other than I heard, again, indirectly from the other employees on social media sites, them trying to change things from animals from like, say, a bird or a squirrel to maybe like livestock instead. But again, to my knowledge, the laws should be changing. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better and then I'll be able to fly in like most places again. And about whether or not there was actually ever a test of an actual drone running into an airplane. Uh, to my knowledge, again, there was nothing formal done. I just believe the um, they were going to do a test specifically for that later on. Because the only test I heard of was the ones where they dropped the drone, a piece of wood and a metal on a dummy's head. I don't know if you guys seen uh, this one before. It's kind of interesting though, just to see uh, how much of a difference it is in terms of the uh, probability of injury compared to a drone and everything else. Like even when I'm watching that video, I'm like, is it really that um, jello-y? Like when a drone falls on someone's head or whatever? I mean, not to say you should do it, obviously, but it kind of puts it in perspective in terms of whether or not it's really overblown in terms of how dangerous the actual drone is compared to like any other objects in life. Today, I actually saw this really cool video. It was about someone that discovered this cave and inside there's a lot of plant life and all that and it looks really surreal like in some ways I don't even think it looks real in many ways but then uh, the person apparently used a drone to capture the whole area just for everyone to see and I was like holy smokes that is so crazy to look at it just gave me all those crazy thoughts of using drones to explore new areas and discovering new places to give you that perspective which is the reason I personally uh, bought the drone I also put the link below. I, again, you guys should watch this. It's really cool for everyone that likes drones, in my opinion, anyways. And it makes me uh, kind of think again, like why I try to take as many footages as possible, because I think it's stuff like this mostly that people actually need. It's just unfortunate, again, I can't, you know, fly it in most places anymore, so I have to dedicate like a specific trip to actually fly it. That made me bump into this article where apparently a Dell and the EMC World event, which is long past now, uh, basically they had like a dedicated booth for drone racing because they're basically, they see like a big growth in the industry, I suppose, where they're promoting it. And it kind of made me wonder, in comparison to that video, like the one discovering the cave and FPV racing events, uh, for example, or just drone racing, which one's actually more effective, I suppose, to actually help promote the hobby? Because I know like here in Canada, the general overall public perception are they're dangerous. They can blow up at any second. Uh, whereas if you look at um, other things that are equal in terms of maybe size, like it really is no more dangerous or maybe less. So it made me kind of want to look up things like, for example, I know for this hobby, people started mostly with model aircrafts. Whereas a person like me, I bought it more for a camera, like the, uh, the drone. So it made me want to look at like, well, why weren't people as afraid of model aircraft? Like, was there some footages I can see? Now obviously this video is really old since it is in black and white but it's kind of fascinating to see like in contrast to people today like when it comes to drones like flying around people like in this case here there's a bunch of people they're flying the model aircrafts and in some cases they crash into the crowd but most people just treat it as like yeah you know oh wipe out like it's entertaining or at the same time some of them go really fast i think i would be terrified of that I mean, to me, it's really interesting in terms of hobby promotion as an example. Like, why wouldn't people be more afraid of that situation? Is it just due to the demographic, for example? Like, I would imagine if it was like, say, a drone, you'd say, um, it would have to be in a netting or something like that in a lot of cases, which I, I personally see anyways, when people do demonstration of drones. So I've never been to like a modern day model aircraft showing, so I don't know if it is the same way, like it's just in open areas, but it's kind of interesting to think about. So in many ways, again, it made me wonder whether or not drone racing is actually kind of like the new model aircraft showcase in order to help promote the hobby and to get people comfortable with the tech in general. 
Uh, for me personally, I've only attended a few events as there only have been a few here, like just for fun. And for the most part, I'm just like those other spectators, I guess, like in that older video. I mean, even in those situations there uh, where you, you know, an accident can happen, I wouldn't personally say, for example, oh, I better stay 75 meters away from it because it's for my own safety. Like, it just makes me wonder, why is this more dangerous, like the FPV racers, for example, than say the model aircraft user that's using like those crazy, like high speed ones. But to me, it's kind of weird in that sense. I mean, is it just demographic in terms of what era people grew up on as an example? Because logically, it doesn't make sense. I mean, if you're super afraid of that, you should be super afraid of the other. Like, ultimately, I think um, you need kind of everyone, like with a different hobby, because everyone has a different taste, like in order to promote it. But in general, it doesn't really make sense to me in terms of why people are afraid of that one thing, but aren't afraid of that. So when you think about it today with all the stuff I saw, like the drone video of being able to capture spectacular views in places we've never explored before versus a model aircraft showcase where people can see crazy maneuvers and flips and all that or an FPV racing drone where it's about high speed going through obstacles, like which one's actually better like to promote the hobby overall. Well, funny enough, just like in my last hike, uh, for most people, until they actually experience the drones themselves, like say a photography one, they're gonna assume it's gonna fly like really fast to do loops and all that. It's too bad too, because uh, generally speaking, I would say it's that perception that's creating the hysteria for the most part, where people like myself, like even I can't fly like a really slow flying uh, drone, for example, just to take pictures of that's all my intention is. Actually, that reminds me too, there might be an event if I have time to attend on a Friday, which actually talks about tech and all that with the public. So it might be interesting just to see um, how, generally speaking, uh, people perceive drones as well, or to see how that's gonna grow within the community here rather. So maybe I'll do that. Oh, speaking of which, I'm falling behind a little bit of work, I think. So I'll see you guys later.